guys, welcome back to another Coffee Date Thursday. Today's topic is Dear My 16 Year Old Self. And this one's gonna be an interesting one. But first, of course, let me show you my cup. This is a travel cup I have, and it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach. Colossians 3.16. I got this as a gift. Um, I am a Kidman leader. I am the director of our nursery at our church. But also I do other aged um, kids ministry uh, roles and things that we need around there. And so I got this as a gift um, last year when I came on as the nursery director. And I love this cup. Um, it's glass and then it's got this rubber top on it. And I just love, I always wanted to be a teacher so I loved that it kind of with the apple. It kind of reminded me of, you know, the teacher aspect of it. I don't drink from this one often, but I do like to drink from it sometimes, like if I'm going somewhere or if I feel like having it on my desk and I just don't want to risk the fact of like spilling it over, then I will drink from it. And I hadn't shown this one yet, so I figured I would try it out today. So like I said, today's topic is Dear 16-Year-Old Self. Let me double check and make sure that's the right one. I believe it is, but you know, I could be losing my mind. That is a very, yes, dear 16 year old me. That's what it is. Okay. So let me think back over the years. It's been 14 years since I was 16. I'm fixing to be 30 this year. So the 16 year old me being 16 was one of the best, but also one of the worst years of my life. There was so many ups and so many downs. Um, and so if I were to be honest with myself and write a letter from me now to me then, this is probably what I'd have to say. Dear 16-year-old Mandy, boys suck. Seriously. The boy that you think you're in love with, he loves you for a little bit, but then he breaks your heart over and over and over and over again for the next three years. Drop him while you can. He's not worth the heartache. Also, please remember that your parents do the best they can by you and that even though you don't know it right now, there are so many sacrifices they've made for you, including sometimes their happiness, that you don't see on a regular basis. So please remember that before you go running off with friends and being a rebel and just disrespecting them in the way that you do. I know what they've done does not make you happy. But you know what? Your happiness is not always what counts here. There are more people at play in this family than just yourself. Also, be nice to your brothers. I know that you're the oldest, and I know that they're annoying. And I know they like to steal your t-shirts. And I know that they like to go into your room and get into your stuff and read your diary. But that's what little brothers are for. You know that they would stick up for you no matter what, and they will be there for you until now. The relationship you have with them is going to be fractured next year and things will never be the same. So you need to make sure that you love them. Just love them, love them, love them. Show them that you love them. Remind them that you love them and just be a good big sister. Be there for them when no one else will be there for them because eventually that's what's going to happen. So on the more fun side of things, go say hi to your grandma. Who? Go show her that you love her because one day she won't be there. And you need to remember how much you love her, how much fun you have with her, how important she is to you. Because that day when it comes that she's no longer here for you, you're going to break. And you won't think you can pull through. But just remind yourself, when you were 16, you had the best time of your life because it was with your grandma. Something else that's good to remember is... You don't need to have a man in your life to feel important. Um, I know that you've never been alone and that you don't like being alone. Um, and as once you got your first boyfriend, from there you always just moved from one to the next. Um, but I need you to understand that you are super, super strong. Like, you can do this. You don't think so right now, but I know you can. You can get through high school. You can get through this life. And you don't need a man to rely on. You become a super independent woman who can handle anything life throws at her. And I am so proud of who you become, but it starts right now. It starts right now at age 16. It starts with you realizing that you don't need anyone else to rely on, that all you need is to look inside yourself and to just feel strong, be strong, be close to those friends who are going to lift you up and tell you the truth no matter how much it hurts and that they're going to be there for you no matter what. 
Drop the friends who are full of drama. Drop the girls who are nothing but competition. And don't worry about boys who are trying to get in your head when they have a girlfriend. They are nothing but trouble. Trust me. Don't think back on guys you've dated before. Just because you think you're scared of being alone, don't go backwards. Only move forwards. <sighs> Enjoy softball. Oh my word. Enjoy it so much. Hit home runs. Pitch your life out. Just enjoy the game because when you come become a senior, you won't get to play and you will be devastated. And so this last year of you getting to play, make it count. And lastly, please remember that the situation that you're in right now, that every hard thing that's coming your way or every happy thing that's coming your way, everything is temporary. Everything will go away at some point. All the bad stuff ends. All the good stuff ends. Things change as you get older. And all the things, all the dreams that you have for your life, they will come about. But you have to work hard for them. When you get married at a very young age, because you will, you need to remember that. You need to take it with you for the rest of your life. And just remember that nothing comes easy. Everything is at a price. And that that's okay. You need to work for what you want. You need to work for the things that you dream for. You can't just sit back and complain about how the world owes you things. No, that's not how it works, honey. You need to work for what you want. You need to remember that the people in your life, some of them are going to stay there forever. Some won't make it past next year, but they're there for a reason. Either they're a lesson or they're a blessing. And one way or the other, you're going to learn something from a situation you've been in with them. And eventually you will look back and be thankful for it one way or the other. So 16 year old me, thank you for the fun. Do not thank you for the hardships, but please just remember that everything does happen for a reason. And once you get to be the age that I am now, which is almost 30, you're gonna have a lot to reflect back on. Make sure that there's little to no regret. And also make sure that you remember um, what your purpose is in life. You don't know what it is just yet, but you will find out one day. Oh, and PS, um, the best friend that you've had since you were 12 years old, just because you're dating a new guy who doesn't really like him, don't vandalize his car with the boyfriend. It's not worth the heartache you're going to suffer for the next seven years because you'll lose that friendship and that family won't care for you very much anymore. And so the people you think of as a second family, they're not going to be that anymore if you go through with that. So just don't do it. Just, just get that all together. Okay, guys, so that was my letter to my 16-year-old self. There is so much more I probably could say, but just reflecting back on the year I was 16, like I said, it was one of the best, but also one of the um, worst years of my but life. Yes, so 16-year-old me had a lot, has a lot to learn and had a lot to learn. Um, the biggest thing that I think if I could pick one thing out of all of it to tell her, um, it wouldn't be anything about the guy. It wouldn't be anything about my parents. It would be to go visit my grandma and spend every minute with her that you could because my grandma passed when I was 27 and she was my world. She was my everything, my best friend. And I still don't know to this day how to like completely live without her. And I know back then I took, I took for granted just having her be a phone call away or having her be, you know, a drive away. And that would be the, the only thing if I could pick one to tell my 16 year old self would just be go, go give grandma some love for me and go enjoy a time with her because you're not going to have it for the rest of your life like you're hoping. So anyway, um, I think this video is a little all over the place, not going to lie. I filmed it and I'm just like, what? What? So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I know it's kind of out there. I plan to do a video like this. Uh, for my Friday Fab Five, but I think this works out so much better because I don't have to limit it to five things. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like the last couple weeks, I'm gonna put Tasha's video or Tasha's channel down below. Who started the Friday or the? Let me try that again. The Coffee Date Thursdays, and then also the group below as well. That way, if you guys decide to join, you guys can do that. Um, we have a new prompt every week, and I've really enjoyed the ones we've had so far. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love the Coffee Date Thursdays so we know how we're doing. Um, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more videos. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.